welcome to my basic mesh tutorial series. Well, this is mostly a tutorial for Blender 2.62 and I will use this program throughout the course of this tutorial. However, I believe that a lot of what I cover here is not limited to Blender, but is valid for other 3D content creation tools as well. So, let's begin with the most basic part of 3D modeling, the vertex. A vertex simply describes a point in a three-dimensional space, and it has three coordinates for the three orientation axes. X, Y, and Z. Vertices are best described as the atoms of modeling. Here is another vertex. It has a different location and thus it has different coordinates. Both vertices can be connected. The connection is named, edge. So, we can say, an edge is a straight connection between two vertices. And there is no exception from this rule. And this is a definition. Edges always are made out of two vertices and a straight connection. This is a third vertex with yet another location. We can connect this new vertex with either of the other existing vertices, or even to both of them. Now we have three edges. Each edge consists of two vertices and one straight connection. And because it has three corners and three angles, this surface is also named triangle. By a matter of fact three vertices, hence one triangle, also define a plane in 3D space. And the part of the plane that is located inside the triangle defines a triangular surface, and is also named triangle in our context. This is yet another vertex. Let me connect it to the already existing triangle with two additional edges. Now we have two adjacent triangles, which share one edge. When we remove the shared edge, we end up with a quadruple, or better known as, quad. Triangles and quads are often called, faces, or mathematically correct, polygons. By now, we have all necessary ingredients for making 3D models the vertex as the basic atom, the edge, as a connection between two vertices, the triangle as the most basic surface element, and finally the quad, which can always be constructed from two triangles. And remember, quads and triangles are also named, faces, or polygons. Of course there are polygons with more than four angles, but we will not cover them in this tutorial. So. Let us take another look at the triangle. I already mentioned that the triangle defines a surface. But in contradiction to the expectations this surface has only one single side. This is very important to know, because you always must be aware that surfaces become transparent on the back side. And so this triangle simply disappears when you look at its back. And finally let us take a closer look at the quad. As I mentioned before, quads have some interesting properties, which make them by far more complicated as you might expect. First and most important, a quad does not define a plane surface. All four corners can be located at arbitrary locations, and thus the surface is in general not planar. But quads can always be decomposed into two triangles. And if we break up a quad into its two triangles, we instantly see, how it is actually constructed. But unfortunately this construction is not unique. And we end up with two very different surfaces depending on how the decomposition was done. This may result in different behavior regarding lighting, and your surface might sometimes look incorrect because the quad was decomposed in the wrong direction. By now I have introduced all basic ingredients for the creation of mesh-based 3D content. All your models will be made out of vertices, edges and faces, and all you need to learn is how to build your artwork with these basic elements. Of course there is a lot to be learned about efficient modeling and designing, and during the course of this tutorial we will introduce some concepts in more detail. So please move on to the next part of this series and proceed by creating a simple coffee cup.